So I'm in the middle of setting up my uh, my heatsink test bench. This is going to be an X79 platform with the GTX 580, as well as a Vengeance C70 case because it'll allow me to easily mount tall air cooling heatsinks, dual radiator, sort of all in one units like the H100, as well as single radiator all in one unit such as the H80. So the reason I'm setting this up is so that I can do some testing, but while I was working on getting it going, I pulled my H100 off of my test bench and I noticed something that I wanted to sort of talk about. So I get a lot of questions about, should I use my fans in push? You can see this is configured in push. The blades are gonna be rotating this way, pushing air through the fins of the, ra oh, you know, through the fins of the radiator out the other side, or do I want my fans in pull, which is where you'd flip them around and have them pulling air through the radiator. So I don't know if I have an example of that. Yeah, see these ones are configured in push as well right here. So they're pushing air that way. Um, or do I want to have my fans configured in push pull? So that's where you actually have fans pushing on one side and pulling through the other side of the rad in order to uh, get, well, greater static pressure. So the answer to that is, is actually not that simple. So there's a few different things to consider. So number one is performance. For performance, push or pull, sort of if you have two fans on a dual 120 mil rad, either on this side or on the other side, actually it doesn't matter. This has been proven time and time and time and time again. It's been debated until, you know, the, you can debate it till the cows come home. It's not gonna change the fact that within margin of error, it performs pretty much the same. Now, when it comes to push-pull, a lot of people are taking sort of, I mean, especially it was fashionable back in the day, and I bought some myself, to grab something cheap like Yate Loon fans, and then, you know, you do a layer of fans, a layer of radiator, a layer of fans, and you can turn the voltages of those fans down in order to make them quieter, even though you have more of them, and you still get decent performance because, um, the push-pull configuration allows more pressure to be built up by the fans. Now think about it this way, guys. If I take two fans that, okay, here, these two fans are a great example because of the way they're positioned. If I take these two fans, they're spinning at the same RPM, they're capable of moving the same amount of air. I take this heat sink out of the middle and I put them next to each other, they're not going to make the air go any faster. Like the actual CFM is not going to change. What's gonna happen though, is if there's resistance in the middle, then they are going to get the benefit of helping each other to move air through the resistance. They're gonna gain more pressure. So people often ask me, should I run and push pull? I say no. The reason I say that is because there are so many fans on the market that are optimized for pressure, such as the SP series from Corsair, although those aren't necessarily my favorite. Noctua's F series are excellent. Scythe Gentle Typhoons are excellent. Silverstone Air Penetrators are excellent. Lots of good pressure optimized fans. So you actually have all this pressure available to you by putting another layer of fans on the other side. All you're doing is increasing the noise because remember, you can't make the air go any faster in an open environment. And if you already have a pressure optimized fan, then you're good. I mean, if you had a non-pressure optimized fan, so this older Noctua S series is a great example. See that? You could spin that at 10,000 RPM. It would never generate any pressure because there's so much room for air to leak around the outside. This is not a good radiator fan. Whereas you see these nice broad blades on the SP120, that is an optimized radiator fan. So anyway, long story short, is push-pull necessary? I would make the argument no. Get a proper fan, run in pull. And there's a reason for that. Now, when I was taking this radiator off of my test bench, I was reminded why I normally configure radiators in pull. Dun, dun, dun. So you can see the dead spot in the middle where the fan hub is. And then you can also see where all that dust is built up. This system was actually running for about a year on the floor. So that's why there is so much disgusting dust buildup on it. So why do I always run radiators in pull configuration? Because once you've got a fan girl on there and a fan on here, without actually taking the fan off, it is impossible to clean. On the other hand, whoops. If you run a configuration like what I did with, here, let me just go over here. I'm just gonna have to adjust my exposure a little bit. There we go. If you run a configuration like what I did with my thermo chill here, you can see this radiator was also run for a couple of years and hasn't been extensively cleaned because the fans on the other side, uh, there, those are my Silverstone air penetrators, are pulling air through it. So it's very, very simple to just go through once in a while and, you know, blow a can of dust at it or use a vacuum to clean it off. Whereas if the fan's in the way, it is pretty much 
impossible to do it. And you end up with something that looks like this and without taking the whole thing apart, it's very difficult to clean. Now, this is easy when it's on a test bench like this, but what if it was in a case? What if I had it configured in push with the fans on the bottom here blowing out? How am I gonna clean that? It's like in the middle of a case. Whereas if the fans are right up against the edge of the case, then all I have to do is get in there and kind of go take the dust out of it and you are good to go. So thank you for checking out my little sort of spiel about push, pull, pressure fans, non-pressure fans. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other disgusting videos. I mean, look at that. It's disgusting. It's like cat hair. I think it's mostly cat hair. Stupid cats.